Hey guys, today we'll be learning about the Morbid Cipher. It might take a couple of steps to learn how this works, but it is a super fun um, code to learn about, and this might be very helpful if you want a game changer in your Science Olympic career. So here is a fairly simple diagram of how the Morbid Cipher works. Uh, note that all the arrows are showing the process of either encoding and decoding, uh, blue denoting the uh, decoding process and the black decode, uh, denoting the encoding process. So let's start with the encoding process. Um, if you have a plain text, you are going to first transfer that into Morse code. And then you will also be given usually a nine letter keyword. Uh, what you're going to do is you're going to number um, the letters in the keyword and they're going to be mapped on to um, different dots, dashes, or X's um, denoting the separation between letters or words, which we'll get into later. Um, and then you're going to use that to transfer the Morse code into a series of numbers, which is the ciphertext. I'm going to actually put that here. So the numbers will be ranging from just one to nine. Uh, so let's talk about the reverse process. You will start uh, when you're decoding with a series of numbers as the ciphertext. And usually you are either given a keyword to help you transfer that into the Morse code, uh, or you are given with clues without the keyword. So they might say um, what certain numbers might mean in terms of dashes and dots. So you're going to do that and transfer that into the Morse code. And then using the Morse code, you are going to transfer that into the plain text. 